Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how I created this dramatic art portrait with Photoshop. I know, I get it. My artworks are always very dramatic, but this one was quite special. So let's check it out. Watch as I create this magic. This photo I do takes a lot of practice. Nah, don't sweat, don't panic. I'm going to break it all down. Nah. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me on this channel. If you're watching me for the first time, I'd like to say a big, 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 big welcome to you. All right. On this channel, I always like to share my thought process as I create digital artwork. If this is something you find interesting, then you're in the right place. All right. So help me just hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. All right. So in today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at this dramatic artwork that I created. It was inspired by this piece that I've been writing. The title of the piece is The Haunted Mind. It's a story of a dysfunctional mind invaded by nightmares from series of heartbreaks and shattered dreams. So I think this is quite explanatory enough, even with the artwork. It's a story of a young man, you know, surrounded by dark clouds, and the dark clouds represent the forces that he's been fighting through as he's on a journey of self-discovery. He has to face a lot of mental health issues. He's seeking validation from his heroes. He is fighting through low self-esteem and all type of things. I don't want to go really into the details, but I just want to show you guys my thought process as I create this artwork, which I'm pretty much excited about. So let's just get into Photoshop now. Let's go. Now that we're in Photoshop, I want to create a new document here. Yeah, I want to set my parameters right for digital art portraits. With the width at 1080, the height is 1350. Resolution remains 300 and we'll leave the color mode at RGB. Now I'll give the document a name and we're good. Our artboard is set and now it's time to bring in our image. I've separated the image from the background just to save time. Quickly I'll convert into smart object and reduce the size of the image. Okay, now we'll duplicate the image and then we'll convert it to black and white. Once again, we'll make another duplicate, but this time around we want to invert it. So we'll go to image adjustment and then we'll click on invert and we'll set the blend mode to vivid light. Okay, that's it. Now we'll go to filter blur and then we'll pick surface blur. We'll keep our radius at 62. And our threshold should be 32. Perfect. Okay, now maybe not exactly perfect, but we're heading somewhere with this. Just stay with me now. Let's make the two top layers together and then we'll change the blend mode to overlay. Great. Now we'll turn off the top layer and then we'll make another duplicate. We've been doing a lot of duplicates. We'll make another duplicate of the main layer here again. And of course, we'll turn this into black and white, but this time around, we'll set the blend mode as multiply. Now look at that. Turn on the top layer. We just want to play around with the highlights and shadows just so we can get more details. Also, don't forget to click on the show more options so you can see the full panel here. For the amount to set that at 65, the tone should be 60. And then the mid tone, I think we're fine with 13. Cool. It's quite sharp and I like it. Great. Oh, I think we can mess around with the eyes just to you know, make it a little more dramatic. But first, let's group the layers and then we can create a new layer for the eye. Click on our brush tool. Here my foreground is white and now I can apply the brush on both eyes. Just like that. Once we feel like we're comfortable with what we have, we'll change the blend mode again to overlay. Now you can see the drama in the details. Now let's add the brush layer to the group and then we can proceed to creating a gray background. Now 
We start by giving the background a title. It's our usual grey background, nothing too crazy. I just want a better contrast for the image. Alright guys, please help me smash that like button alright and also subscribe to my channel and this is my third tutorial and I'm just pretty much excited about it. I know at some point I'll stop counting but right now I'm just happy I'm 3 for 3 with the tutorials. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> what was that? Thank you guys. Now we'll add the black and white adjustment layer and all we want to do here is to increase the black in it just for more detailing. I think our image is really looking good right now. It's all sharp, you can see the details and stuff. I'm confident about what we have here. However, I'd like to just take it over to the camera raw just to tweak one or two things and once we're done with that, I think we're good to go. In doing that, I have to duplicate the group layer and then convert it into a smart object and then we can send it into camera raw. Here in the camera raw panel, um, what I want to do is to increase the clarity and also work on the texture, just a little touch really. We're not doing anything crazy here. I really wanted to avoid this process, but I just felt like I should still just touch one or two things here. And now that we are done editing our image, it's time for us to get to the form part. This is where the magic begins. I mean, this is where the manipulation starts. So this is the reason why you are here, I'm sure of that. We'll be using the layer mask technique, all right? So one thing you need to re really put in your mind is that this is all preference is all subjective there is no formula to this you just have to open your minds and trust your design instinct to guide you all right so with that said let's get into it i can't wait let's go okay here we are on the first thing you want to do is to bring in the house and i want to reduce this but first i have to convert into a smart object and then we can fit it right on the head I have to zoom in closely just so I can see perfectly uh, what it looks like and have it sit right on the head of the of the guy. Yeah. Uh, once that is done, next thing we want to do is to mask and make sure the foreground is black and the background is white. And then I can reduce the brush, the opacity of the brush, and then we can proceed to masking. Uh, this one we have to just look at it carefully and then gently just chop off the edges and you know the idea is to make it everything just blend Also, we have to chop off the head. <laughs> yeah, we have to just take off parts of the head that we don't need in in there. So that's the reason for selecting the, the part that part of the head. So we can take off that part now. Yep, like that. Just like that, we'll take it off. And you can see everything is taking shape right now. So basically that's the whole concept of masking, you just keep reducing the opacity, you keep increasing it at the same time, you keep chopping off parts that you don't like, you might mistakenly chop off some part that you like, but you have to like bring it back again, you know. I just enjoy this process a lot, a lot. Here we are, I think we're done with that. Look at this, it's already beautiful. 
So now let's bring in the birds in there quickly. This is gonna be very fast. I think it's very fast. So bring in the birds in there. Put them high up there. The idea is to, to have this young man right here in his late 20s trying to find himself. Well, <laughs> while he's trying to find himself, there are a lot of things just trying to get his attention, trying to distract him from being the person that he's supposed to be. And while there are a lot of things around there trying to distract him from being who he's supposed to be, right there, there is a lady in the house, that haunted house. There's a lady in there that seems to be like the only beautiful thing that is going right for him. And somehow this lady is supposed to like fight all those things, but he has to give the lady the permission to fight all those things. Now it's looking all deep and dark. Oh, we just want to bring in the rock, but first I have to like make the rock blend with the skin. So I have to like reduce the brightness. Sharpen it up a little bit, you know, and then reduce exposure. And I think it looks like it now. Yep, exactly. So now we can start our masking process for this also. So it's still the same approach we used for the, it's basically the same approach we used for the house also, we're gonna use for this. So we're just carefully gonna chop the edges off and make it blend. I always like to have my artwork as black and white because it just feels a little deeper for me that way. Uh, I just love black and white. It's just a preference thing. That's it. So we keep doing this. Keep, keep adjusting and readjusting. Like I said before, there is no formula to this. It's not the scientific uh, method, it's just basically art and expression and whatever you feel in your head. So just keep doing this. It's looking weird right now. <laughs> okay, now let's speed this up. Let's speed this process up. Now what we have here is looking cool, but we want to make it look a little more realistic. So we have to add in some block explosion just to make it look more realistic and like tell a better story with this. Yes. So now you can see the difference there. Just that little explosion there. And you can see the difference. Great. Still have to do some we just keep adjusting the layer mask we keep doing we keep looking at it over and over and keep adjusting however we see fit until we're satisfied with what we have next thing we want to do is to bring in the lady the only thing that is going right about this guy in his head we're gonna bring the lady in red um we'll chop off the background yeah, of course we're using the select mask technique We'll take off the background. What if it's the lady that is attracting all this distraction? But I'm just saying, but what if that's the case? Anyways, that's just the whole idea. You can interpret the art however you want to interpret it. Reduce the size of the image. Very small, then we we'll have to place that right close to the doorstep anyway. right there so we have to also copy uh, a part of the a part of the house in there we have to copy that part select that part and you know copy that part and then we take it right on top of this layer yes and then we can mask it out 
take it to convert to black and white and then we can mask it out again we'll mask that part just so it's realistic and it doesn't look choppy and stuff good better yes okay this is fair enough it's more realistic here just a little okay now this is it cool now this is already looking nice but i think we should do a little bit of work on the background so it doesn't look all plain and so for that we'll be adding a little bit of dark cloud but first we would start with our base let's work on our base oh can't seem to get this right what's going on okay that's it now let it balance not yet <sighs> what's going on okay that's it so we have a base in there that's just a drop shadow like we just drop a shadow down there to just create a little base down there and now we can work on the dark shadow right here exactly this is giving me everything it's giving me all the vibe that i want that horror feel It. now the next thing we want to do is to add more birds on top right there make that very small make it smaller and you know let's just add more birds in there great nice one give that a title yeah just to keep it tidy a little bit and now the last part is for us to add a little bit of lightning in it's a full or off light now we'll add a little bit of lightning there there you go there you go there's no science to this reduce the opacity just a little bit just so it's a little realistic and there you go we're done Let's add more rocks to this one. Let's add more rocks. Yeah. So it more rocks to it. Yes, this is it. I duplicate that and then you know resize it, reposition it. That's it guys, we're done. Now here we are with the final result. I hope you enjoyed creating this as much as I did. If you have any question, you can hit me up in the comment section, all right? Just know one thing, you have to always trust the process. You keep readjusting, editing until you get the desired result, all right? My name is Dari, the creator, and until next time, peace.